GSR is playing a vital role at bringing together now more than 130, nearly 160 regulators from across the world. But not only is it bringing together regulators, it's also bringing together regulators with the network operators and increasing that dialogue in a neutral environment. And I think this is a particularly important role that GSR is now playing, the ITU is now playing. So I've uh, had the, uh, the privilege uh, to be asked to really look into the crystal ball and look at the future role uh, of regulators. Um, and this is a fascinating uh, subject. Uh, and so we're looking at some of the key trends in our industry, the trends of convergence, uh, the trends of broadband internet, uh, the trends of bringing together broadcasting, content, um, telecommunications, and trying to then say, well, what of the future? The future for the telecommunications regulators, as we're seeing, is uh, one of really social and economic development. Uh, there is the looking at the big picture. So governments have problems. They have austerity problems. They have growing populations, concerns uh, about unemployment. And the broadband is being seen as being almost that now saviour, that tool, that new tool of society which can create and support innovation, support uh, new jobs, uh, economic and social development. So the role of the regulator now is a very much bigger one than it has been. It doesn't mean more regulation, it might mean less regulation, but it's one of cooperation, support of the industry, growing the market, educating and supporting consumers in understanding the benefits uh, and the use of some of the many new tools. So it's a very interesting role. It demands, I think, uh, a lot of high quality debate. No one knows the right answer and I think today we're starting that debate. The Millennium Development Goals, which are really going towards health and education uh, primarily, the society is not winning those particular battles and achieving those objectives. And there's been formed uh, under the elders uh, a foundation called the Global eHealth Foundation, uh, which is chaired by Archbishop Desmond Tutu and has some very, very uh, respectful names supporting this. Uh, and I've been asked to be the communication advisor to this Global eHealth Foundation. Uh, and, our, and their job is to say, how can we now use technology, use broadband, use ICT to really help society, help people in rural communities to improve health, healthcare, as well as education. I think there's a tremendous, tremendous support for this. And I've uh, had, uh, again, conversations these last few days with some of the leading um, new operators, the need leading ICT suppliers, as well as network operators, and everyone wishes to support the Global eHealth Foundation. They already have many uh, programs, uh, but it's a question of now bringing those together, learning from one another, and making those applications available uh, to uh, the communities.